But gray hair, this is a struggle for everyone, men and women. But men seem to be the victims of some pretty bad dye jobs yeah. and weirdness when it comes to trying to cover their gray. You know, and the problem is, is that men don't know what to do. They're afraid to ask questions. Yeah. They don't know where to go. So then they try to do it at home. And then things go bad really quickly. So it's really always bad. You're laughing. There, there may be a story there. There, there, there. It's always best to just... Go see a professional. Go see a pro. Go see a pro. Don't try to do the purple hair to cover. It's not <laughs> a good look. Brian's hair looks great, by the way, and I wouldn't even really consider this He gray. looks petrified right now, doesn't he? Okay, there we go. A smile. Okay, so, yeah, so Brian, I would consider to be very, there it is, the before picture. Okay, so he's very representative of a lot of men out there. And that is that he's in his 50s, and he's, you know, probably about 60, 70% gray, but he doesn't really want to be gray. He's not ready to be gray. And so he, he, you know, needs to do something, but what do you do? Well, what you do is a semi-permanent color. And it's oh. essentially just a wash, and it mutes the gray just enough to where his hair doesn't look like it's colored. No, it not just at all. mutes the gray just enough. And then you don't have the issue of dealing with root growth and the gray coming in exactly. having that hard line, right? Right. So that line of demarcation is everyone's dread, right? No one wants that. And so you can see. So Sherry did this at Royal Oaks, and what she does is she puts on a color on, which is a semi-permanent color. She leaves it on for less time than you're really supposed to. Okay. And that way, when he leaves the salon, no one would stop him on the street and say, oh, you just got your hair colored today. Not at all. Like, I can't even tell sometimes when he comes home. And the so, eyebrows too, I And guess. the eyebrows, right. So thank you for noticing that. So, so eyebrows are a dead giveaway, guys. Guys. You don't, first of all, gray hairs have a mind of their own, oh. and then, so not, not only are they gray, but they're going in all crazy di directions, right? So Brian trims them, and then we use a vegetable dye to put a little color back in them, and that's all he Genius. needs. Yes, Dude, yeah, and your hair looks great. I mean, yeah. I know we're seeing the after. Even the before didn't look bad, but uh, I wouldn't say you're a day over 24. <laughs> There we go. Check out that before and after. Let's move on, by the way. We'll swap out Brian for another model. Let's move over to Gray okay. in the meantime. And this, uh, Connie, I think you're going to walk us through this. Gray chose to actually really, like, be gray. To be add gray. some more gray, right. Accentuate the gray. So we did a power piece. We do power pieces a lot in women's balayage, you know, some accents around the face. So it was, you know, three or four foils, and we lifted it to the color of his his gray color, oh, it looks super and then we cool. toned it, so it's, it's the same color, but an accent piece. Okay, so yeah. but you call it a power piece or an accent piece? Mm -hmm. Either or. If yeah. someone has uh, dark hair, or hair as dark as gray's here, what is this process like? I know we're seeing video of the foiling process. Right, so it's it's three or four foils in the hairline. It's it's you know not a whole head of bleach. So, but it's just well. So you had to lighten it though. So right. She had to pre-lighten this dark, dark hair. Okay. So Gray's hair is naturally very, very dark, and it's thick and it's coarse. And so the first step is to lighten that, and then she had to go back in with a toner to add that silvery tone that, that she was really looking for there. Okay. So it's it's not it's not like an in and out type of deal. But it, is it all day at the start? Not all day. Yeah. No. Yeah. How it wasn't all day. Was no. it? No. It wasn't Hello. too bad. No. But and and it doesn't have to be this this fancy either. It could have totally been something more subtle. But gray looks really awesome with this extra, you know, um, embracing his gray. So that's what she did. Right. And here again is a split screen, the before and after. Gray, I like the before. But this after, though, you definitely have this distinguished, got some swank to him. stylish swank. Yeah. yeah. And he does have some gray in his beard that grows naturally, which he doesn't really like. So we went through and painted through his beard to cover those little pieces. Oh, that's genius. Mm -hmm. Because a yeah. lot of men, I have a lot of gray in my beard as well. Right. Oh, yeah. They're popping up. It's funny, so you don't have much up here, but I bet if you grew in your beard, you'd have a, a couple pieces. I have right? a few gray strays and yeah. one here that grows straight out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's really lovely. I can hang things on it. It's so wiry. Uh, gray, you look fantastic. And you, let's gray. move over to Raphael. You're okay. seeing the before. What a handsome man. I know. Why Isn't would you he? Change anything. Like, why would your we? Hairstyle? Yeah. So you can see he looks great with dark hair. That's his natural color. So what Connie did is, you know, if you look on Instagram, it's a real trend right now yeah. and it has been for a while men and women really embracing a silver toned light blonde and so that's what she did with Raphael and it oh, looks wow. fantastic so tell them what she did so Raphael was a little bit more intense it was a full bleach out and we did it twice to get it to that light pale yellow and then we did a shadow root to 
to give it so What's this shadow so this see how it's dark right here remember you were talking about the line of demarcation so this is like a gradient ombre kind of look yes exactly okay. that prevents the kind of like oh here come your roots look so so you can see now she did kind of a charcoal silver on him she could have done something lighter or darker but you do have to go through that bleach out process this would look great on you by the way y you know what's funny that or a power piece right i've been <laughs> wanting to do something kind of fun for summer so i would totally be into all it all right and rafa i think you look great i love the before again but the after there's just like a little extra punch right. to your style right and the bottom line is too i mean if we're all gonna go gray right at yes. some point it's gonna happen and the key is to just embrace it. Embrace right, it or find something that really works for your lifestyle. So the trick is go see a professional and we can answer all the questions. It's okay to ask questions. That's what we're there for. We're like going to the doctor. Okay, sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> hey, next time you guys are here, can we do uh, like a disasters segment? Sure. Like hairstyles gone wrong, <laughs> or when people try to diet at home and their yeah. hair kind of melts off. And will falls you help off. me find the models for that? We, I, we will work <laughs> on that. If you'd like to learn more or to schedule an appointment, you can visit theupperhand.com. Thank you, Connie and Rachel. Thanks to all of our models. Excellent.